There you go. Oh, that did not take much time at all. Number two. All right, all I need is one more. I'm gonna have enough for some trap cakes. There we go. Liking that egg. Nice and simple. Okay. That's all the fish I needed. I just fished for a grand total of seven minutes. I caught my three fish that I needed. That's uh, incredible. I just caught my three fish that I need for the day. I'm gonna get home, get to cleaning these things. We're gonna make some trout cakes today. Quack, 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 quack. All right, have our trout fillets here. I'm going to chop these into little pieces. Each fillet is going to get chopped up. You can also use like a food processor or something like that. So I got all this meat chopped up. Pretty darn fine. Take a look at that. I'm gonna set that off to the side. We're gonna mix together all of our meat here. Put that in there. And then we're gonna start adding our ingredients. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter. Half a cup of breadcrumbs. You can go a little heavy. This is just for the amount of fish I have. I'm actually subtracting because I don't have a full pound of fish. One egg. Half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. We're going to need a quarter cup of chopped parsley. Wash your parsley before you chop it. I'm going to get, the recipe actually calls for, it calls for a quarter cup, so I have to do an eighth of a cup, so half of a quarter. I'm going to call that pretty good. I probably overdid it. I got to get rid of all this crap. I also need a half a cup or a, I need a eighth of a cup of chopped chives. All right. I'm going to call this an eighth of a cup. Who needs to measure? It's overrated. I need one, I need half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna fill this up halfway. Okay. Let me just go through the recipe again real quick. We're gonna go and take a little bit of minced onion. This is just like dried minced onion. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in there. Now, let's try to get that butter the smaller pieces so it mixes well. Now we're just going to mix everything up. This is going to get very messy, forewarn you. You're going to have to paddle these into cakes. 
tell you what, don't look too bad. I might add just a touch. I'm going to add just a little bit more breadcrumbs. Who doesn't like breadcrumbs? Just help firm stuff up a little bit. Got all this parsley all over me. Once it starts looking like this, I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes just to keep it cool while we start getting ready for the next steps. I'm going to take just a little bit of garlic. That's probably more than enough. A little bit of butter. Probably like a tablespoon and a half of butter. All right. Start melting that butter, browning up this garlic a little bit. Don't want to cook it too fast. Actually turn it down to like low heat. Just want to get this garlic a little bit brown. All right, that is good. I'm going to pull this from the heat. Gonna add just a little base layer into this deeper pan here for frying. This is just Crisco pure vegetable oil. We're gonna let this get hot. Just gonna take this buttery garlic, put it into our batter, our trout cake mix, like that. Gonna get this all incorporated. All right, now comes for the messy part. We're going to pat these things into cakes about the width of my palm. Try to keep them uniform in shape, just like that, something like that. I'm going to put one in. Not going to have to cook them very long at all. So I'm going to fit three in there. While those cook, I'm going to start up this. We're going to get some bacon going. It is breakfast after all. A couple slices of bacon cooking in here. Especially mixed with that garlic and the butter. It's going to be delicious. Probably going to have to turn these cakes soon. Let's do... Five pieces of bacon. Don't want to overcook these cakes. Yeah, they're cooking fast. I have this on very low heat. So it's not going to take much time to cook these. I'm going to get two more in there. That one looks done. These two are going to be absolute money. I probably let the oil get a little away from me. All right, these last two are ready to come off. It's already looking so, so good. All right, I think these are just about done. They're just perfectly buttery brown. Pull these off. Put them on our plate. We're not done yet. We've got to add one more thing to all of this. Almost no fish fry of any kind is done with that little bit old bay on there. Perfect. We even put it on the bacon. Why not? Okay. Man, that looks good. Take a look at that. That's not a slamming breakfast. I don't know what it is. Yeah, looks really, really good inside. All right, we'll give her a taste. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh my gosh, I wish it wasn't so hot so I could eat everything. Mmm. Man, is that good. All these years I've been missing out trout cakes. Oh, that's where it's at. Now, how about some Old Bay bacon? 
Mm. That's good too. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Wow. Let me eat this whole thing. Mm. Highly recommend you guys try this. Wow, is that good? Little, especially with a little bit of bacon in your mouth yet. Probably chopped bacon. Cooked bacon inside of this would be a rapid in bacon. Oh my gosh, why didn't I think of that? All right. That is going to be money. Mm. It is money. Gosh, is that good. All right, Peter the Trout. We're making trout cakes all the time. Mm. Man, is that good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, click like, subscribe. Peace.